Hey guys, it's Riley with some creative ideas around videos you can easily shoot at home. And just about everyone has dishwashing soap, which means you can do this. Filming with bubbles is a lot of fun and it's challenging too because the bubbles drift around and it's hard to get them in just the right place. To make bubbles magically appear in my hands, we need to reverse this footage which we can easily do in KineMaster. Select the clip, select reverse. And to slow it down just a little, select speed and reduce that slightly. When you know you're going to reverse your footage, you need to start off in the position you want to be when your video ends, and with a little experimentation, you can figure out all kinds of flourishes you can add to embellish what is already a neat looking trick. Another way to add interest is with overlays from within KineMaster. This overlay I'm using for this clip is called Mysterious Fog, and it's available from the App Store at no extra cost with a premium subscription. By the way, thanks to everyone who signed up to a premium subscription, it helps us to keep developing the app and don't forget you can save up to 50% by paying for your subscription annually. So once you have your fog in place, you can easily duplicate it to extend fog all along your timeline. If you overlap each clip slightly, it will give the impression of continuous fog rolling across the floor. I dragged each overlay out a little larger than my screen so I can easily move it around and have each instance in a slightly different position with varying opacity. You can also fade an overlay in and out to ease between the different instances. The next thing I did to make this trick stand out was to download the overlay speed lines from the asset store. I placed this circle swirl over each instance where the bubble pops into existence and used the keyframe tool to move the overlay to stay over the top of the bubble as it floats away. A blanket is a really cool prop that you can use to make creative videos. Let me show you how. You just chuck it up and run away. What did it work? Let's try that again. Let's forget this idea, I've got another one. Making yourself disappear behind a blanket is easy and editing this kind of trick is even easier. All you have to do is cut out the bit between you running off and appearing somewhere else and you can get a pretty good result. But in KineMaster, we can do it better. It's subtle, but notice here as I run off that you can still see my shadow on the wall at the same time as I appear from behind the couch. The way to do this is to have the second appearance as a separate layer and then crop away the right of the image to reveal the layer below. As I appear from behind the couch, I simply cut the overlay footage and remove the crop. To really sell this effect, let's go into adjustments and fine tune the level of this clip until the exposure levels exactly match the clip below. Hooray! Easy. Add some overlay and some sound effects and you're done. By the way, these cartoon sound effects are my favorite and I love that everything is so easy to find in the assets store thanks to this nifty category folder in each section. My final video was a bit of fun, trying out an effect I saw using green screen and it's a great way to get ahead in life. To try this effect with a friend, film yourself with a piece of bright green or blue fabric covering your body, then jump out of the way so you can get a nice shot of the background. Split your clip with the background on the bottom layer and the footage of you with your friend over the top. Within KineMaster, simply select chroma key and play around with the settings here until your body disappears. When you're stuck at home, it's great fun to experiment with everyday items like a blanket, bubbles, or a colored sheet you can key out in the app. My challenge for you is to have a go at recreating these tricks yourself, and if you do, be sure to post a link to your video down below. I'm Riley, and I hope you enjoyed this KineMaster tutorial. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.